following. I'm not following. And moreover, how do you question a woman's integrity or morality when she's participating in the same sexual activity you initiated and exploited, but she's doing it responsibly? If she's not contracting STDs or having unwanted pregnancies, she doesn't have to lie or hurt anybody. Why do you feel the number of participants is information you should be privy to or further judge her on? Outside of the conundrum, it is the audacity to condemn the demographic you spent an entire lifetime degrading and then furthermore feeling entitled to one that is untainted while there are men who are actually capable of not only loving them but not fucking damaging them is insane like that's just it though not all these men are damaging these women and it's a matter of preference like yes it doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes if he was participating and then he also wants someone who wasn't participating it's still a valid preference some women want men that have a lot more money than they do even though they don't also have that same thing. Men and women are different. Watching them is insane. Like, nobody wants to be your wife. The best shot you have at finding love is finding a middle-aged woman who's desperate and brainwashed enough to believe that you're the best she can find. Are you saying a woman that his age has less value? And in some cases, these men have zero problems finding a wife with the qualities that they want. Because women go into relationships looking for different things than what men go into relationships looking for. He can provide financial stability. And that's the problem with women believing that men want the same things as them. They don't. So when you participate in that, they're going to end up facing the consequences later down the road.